Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with all of you. I would like to start by um, saying that I came to stand right next to you to make you cut the intro short <laughs> because I wanted to speak from my heart and not through any particular position that uh, this temporary world may have given me. I'm also being very challenged right now, although I am a public speaker, because I want to say a meaning that is very sincere. And I think sincerity is something that is very difficult and a very rare commodity nowadays. And I'm speaking for myself. I think that the very word personality, finding its root in the Latin word persona, means mask. And I just don't want to have a mask as I speak. And I'm hoping that before we all leave, as I'm sure a lot of us have already done, we have shed our masks and we've truly looked at each other's faces, trying to genuinely understand what each of us on the other side truly represents. I would like to read a verse from the Qur'an in personal pursuit of inspiration for what it is I would like to say in the following maybe two or three minutes. If you allow me to, those who believe in the Qur'an are going to listen to it, seeing what Allah the Creator is saying to them. But those who don't, don't be offended, I'm not patronizing you. Just listen to it in whatever way, shape or form you would like to listen to it in. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الناس إنا خلقناكم من ذكر وأنثى وجعلناكم وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل لتعارفوا إن أكرمكم عند الله أتقاكم a quick translation of this would and allow me to say crude because it's very difficult to try and interpret what we believe is ultimate truth in another language is O oh people, O oh humanity, O oh mankind we, and this is the royal we of power, it's not plurality we, God we have created you from a pair, from a male and a female. And we have made you into peoples and tribes that you may know one another. That you may know one another. I just want to um, say that this last session of the conference has been a really eye-opener to me. Because like watching um, Sheikh um, Habib al Jeffrey speaking and watching him act, it came to me that um, if this if this man is acting according to how the Prophet Muhammad wanted Muslim people to act, I'm starting really to get really, really close to understanding where you're coming from. Because if, if um, Habib al Jeffrey is acting as a Prophet Muhammad, what could you do else but love, but love this guy uh, and love uh, the Prophet Muhammad? So um, it has been a really, really big eye opener to me. How I feel. It's really special because I'm a non-believer, so I don't really believe in spirituality or one truth, but this is actually a moment where I really felt something spiritual and something true. The things that you said in your speech to all of us was really the closest I have been to a, a common, a great truth. So, so it is, I'm really grateful to have this experience like a revolution in my mind, and I hope to bring that to Denmark as well. I think that I would like to leave it off saying that to me in this context, Allah, God, is, if I'm allowed to say, synonymous in this context with truth, beauty, and justice, and the sovereign good. And I think that everybody here in one way or the other, and I've met pretty much everyone here, I think that everybody here believes that there is something true you wouldn't be here if you believed that nothing can be true. And that there is something beautiful, one way or the other, again. And that there is something good, because everybody here has good in them. And that there is justice. But the only difference between us is how we define, respectively, justice, truth, beauty, and good. So, let me just tell you that, Wallahi, by Allah, I swear to you, it's all semantics. And if we sit down enough and talk, we will understand one another. Ultimately, everybody will see what is destined for him or her to see. But whatever it is, not only will we see through the veils, we will also love one another, 
as has happened and based on that give each other the respect that we've agreed to give each other not because anybody's forced anybody but because we love each other and have become friends and because ta'arafna and because we have gotten to know one another I think as Shaykh al-Bouti, may Allah bless him, said that perhaps a harmful thing can bring out benefit. I think there's a lot of benefit that has come out of this and I'm very happy to live in this world, in this time, to experience this amazing human possibility of ta'aruf, of knowing one another and recognizing the common ground between us. We all have a common denominator. Our numerator is different, that's all, if I can use a mathematical example. May we all in hope, for those who are religious, I say a prayer, and for those who are not, let's just say we hope, we look forward to understanding more deeply what truth is in whatever way. We believe it to be living a life of beauty, living a life of justice, living a life of good, and therefore living a life of harmony, and therefore having serenity in our hearts, not living in agitation. May none of us ever be a source of agitation for the other ever again. I thank you very much for listening, and I apologize for taking too long. of these three days but of my life uh, it was a very spiritual moment and uh, and I'm not religious I'm not uh, spiritual oh I thought I wasn't because this was a spiritual moment that I have never experienced something like that before and that was when I felt humanity that I felt that there is something that unites us all and uh, and that's what I'm going to to use my life to show السلام عليك عليك يا Yeah.